Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, this video is about uh, continuation of part one video that is uh, animal coloration and mimicry. So as I told uh, in the part one video that uh, the content that I you I am explaining that is introduction, definition, classification of mimicry, aggressive mimicry, protective mimicry, warning mimicry, and uh, the second set is Bayesian mimicry with example and uh, the next one Mullerian mimicry with example. In the part one video, I have covered all these content. If you didn't watch that video, I would recommend to watch that video so that that will that could be helpful. And in this video, we will discuss these two in detail, and I will add some of the animal uh, uh, animal uh, animal coloration and mimicries uh, in a short form, so that you will get some idea about uh, those points, and then that help you to face the exam well. So, without making any delay, let's start with the first one, that is Bayesian mimicry with example. So, what is Bayesian mimicry? The Bayesian mimicry, it was uh, as uh, this uh, Bayesian mimicry was proposed by a British uh, naturalist uh, H. W. Bates in the year. 18, uh, 1862. That's why in, uh, for this mimicry, they named it as as uh, scientist name itself. That is actually called as Bayesian mimicry. And now, uh, so we will look at the definition. What what is this Bayesian mimicry? What is the meaning of the Bayesian mimicry? What he proposed here, Bayesian mimicry is a form of mimicry. It is a type of mimicry. We already in the previous video we got to know different types of mimicry, right? So um, this is also a kind of it is also one on the uh, one form of mimicry where so this is very important concentrate here in the examination so and also you might get confused with the bayesian mimicry and mullerian mimicry so both are different so concentrate properly i am explaining the definition here where a harmless species okay here what happens harmless species has evolved to imitate the warning signals of the harmful harmful species means here a simple thing okay harmless species is imitating harm less species is imitating like harmful species okay so it is telling to predators that uh, actually in uh, uh, it is harmless but it is acting like it is mimicking like i am harmful it is showing in front of the predators like i am harmful so don't eat but it is harmless why it is showcasing that one because to escape from the predator because here harmless species and harmful species are similar in the structure okay they, they look similar okay okay and here next point similarity in appearance of a harmless or palatable species to a species that is harmful and palatable species to predators okay so as these harmless species and harmful species are uh, as similar in appearance so predator what this predator will do this will predator will think that oh this might be a harmful species so that it will avoid it okay and uh, we will look at the examples now first example so uh, i already explained the model and mimic so in this uh, the model is means the species which is being mimicked okay Mi being mimicked by the another species so here this da danas plexippus it is a butterfly it is uh, this one this uh, it is a harmful species it is mimicked by the another uh, butterfly that is called as lingventis archipus okay so here this is a harmless species it is mimicking the this butterfly okay and the another one hoverfly okay hoverfly it is a common name uh, name here it is scientific name is epistrophe balatellata imitates a wasp it is acting like a wasp so that it is feels like okay unpalatable uh, uh, which is not at all tasteful so uh, like that so it is behaving like that that is the Bayesian mimicry a key very key note here is that harmless species acts like a harmful species to avoid the predator that is the key point please do remember that key point next moving on to the next one uh, important one that is Mullerian mimicry and as like uh, this is also as like the, that of the Bayesian mimicry why it is called as Bayesian mimicry because the scientist uh, proposed this and they named it the scientist name itself this is also same uh, this uh, Mullerian mimicry was proposed by a Fritz Muller he is a German scientist in the year 1879 that's why it is named it as Mullerian mimicry now we will look at the definition Mullerian mimicry it is a natural phenomenon in which two or more distasteful species concentrate here two or more distasteful species that may or may not be closely related okay they might be closely related or might not might not be closely related and share one or more common predator have co have common to mimic each other's warning signals uh, mimic each other's warning signals so here in case of mullerian mimicry this is very simple what happens here 
there will be two species okay thing uh, species a and species b and these two species are both are distasteful okay both are distasteful okay and they may maybe uh, closely related they may look similar may not be look similar and for these two there is a predator okay the, uh, there is a predator so these two species are sharing a uh, common predator so what happens then because of that uh, to avoid this predator these both will uh, mimic each other they will both will mimic each other to avoid this predator so so the mullerian mimicry means two distasteful species mimic each other okay have you understood okay this is the key point this is the important sentence please do remember the definition okay this how it uh, differences between the betation mimicry and mullerian mimicry in betation mimicry what happens armless species act as a armful species here in mullerian mimicry yeah, uh, both distasteful species okay uh, they might look similar or may not look similar they may, might be closely related might, might not be closely related but they are um, mimic with each other both will mimic with each other uh, to oh, warn the signals to predator that we are dangerous or we are distasteful okay. next moving on to the next point this phenomenon can be understood by imagining two dis distasteful species that do not resemble one another and, uh, and are also prey to a common predator okay can uh, like the, just now i have explained this one that is the meaning of this sentence so this phenomenon can be understood by imagining two distasteful species that do not resemble one another okay the both are different they both are as i said before in the while i am explaining they might be similar ones they may not be similar ones uh, different ones okay but they both are imitated each other to avoid the common predator when predator comes and uh, comes to eat uh, maybe either a, a species a or species b okay mm, uh, they will might encounter species a or species b and they will catch and eat it they will feel that it is a toxic they will get to know they will toxic okay they uh, therefore after they are going to avoid it and their predators that avoid only one of the harmful species provide no benefit to individual of the other species therefore it would be advantageous if the appearance of the two species were more similar so here the mullerian concept what it says here it, uh, they are saying some they may or may not be closely related they may so this mullerian mimicry will be beneficial when two individuals looks different so uh, when uh, time will be being, uh, on a time being uh, if the animal if a predator comes in uh, comes and catches the prey uh, a okay for example prey a it will it will start to think that a is um, distasteful okay but it, it will not encounter to this till now and if the both will look different it may comes and uh, bite this one also okay even though it is like uh, distasteful so that's why the mullerian mimicry the if predator has to avoid it they should look similar okay so then only this will be helpful okay i mean advantageous but as of mullerian mimicry so both distasteful species and they might be closely related might not be closely related so if there is a common predator they both will act uh, they both will mimic with each other so uh this is because a predator that learns to avoid either or either the species in a pair of species exhibiting mullerian mimicry learns in effective in effective to avoid both so what happens so uh, later when it uh, going to come and contact with this one or either of this one so it will got to know both are harmful okay because both both are imitating with each other they exhibiting the mullerian mimicry so it is going to avoid the both the species okay for example simple example make you to understand uh, you can take the example of wasps and butterflies both will look uh, similar here okay so and these both will uh, show some mullerian mimic they both both are distasteful so they even if the predator uh, encounter the wasp it will avoid the wasps as well even if it is encounter the butterfly it will avoid the butterfly as well okay uh, uh, because both will uh, show the mullerian mimicry next uh next example sometimes a group of sympatric species often from the different taxa okay here we are talking about the sympatric species sim means same same place okay uh, species like take this is the one one place imagine this is one one place in this place there are different species like okay the uh, species living in the same area those are called as sympatric species so but they are in a different taxa means their level taxa level is different okay uh, these both will uh, actually these both will Uh, share a common warning pattern means they uh, 
these even those species both the species are uh, uh, different here they will show the uh, uh, mullerian mimicry okay there are common warning pattern uh, pattern of mimicry so that is called as uh, that phenomenon is called as mimicry ring okay so um, for example rings in amazonian butterflies okay these are the examples <coughs> next both have a common warning pattern to predators and helps protect both the prey species here both the butterflies okay uh, here conus you create uh, which is an unpalatable un un butterfly and lycoria halia it is also an unpalatable butterfly both will imitate each other uh, the same pattern they will give, uh, they will give the same uh, type of uh, common warning pattern to predators so that it, it will helps to protect the both the prey species by the predator so these two will give the uh, uh, same uh, warning signature to predator they both will acts like um, uh, distasteful unpalatable ones okay next uh, so you got to know about betesian mimicry and then you got to know about mullerian mimicry now we should understand these two in a better way we can understand this in a better uh, more thoroughly uh, by us uh, uh, some of the difference have listed out very easy ones so uh, just uh, have a look here betesian mimicry uh, what is betesian mimicry betesian mimicry is, is when a palatable species resembles a unpalatable species okay here betesian mimicry what happens palatable species resembles a unpalatable species for example harmless species uh, resembles a, a harmful species okay so palatable species resembles a unpalatable species that that kind of mimicry is called as vetation mimicry here in mullerian mimicry both are dangerous okay both the species are dangerous species uh, resembling each other so that is the difference between vetation mimicry and mullerian mimicry here what happens only one only one is mimicking the other okay for example species a is going to mimic species b but here both look same or similar so they both will mimic each other okay they both will mimic each other next point when several uh, for make you to in detail uh, to understand in detail uh, about mullerian mimicry when several unrelated so both are unrelated species if you encounter a species of different kind and b species of different kind but are uh, uh, but protected species come to resemble one another they will try to uh, which are uh, very resemble ones they will mimic each other okay so even though they are unrelated species if they are resemble closely uh, you, uh, means that means both are dangerous only they will resemble so they will mimic with each other now i will explain this uh, betesian and mullerian mimicry in a chart form okay for example predator okay the uh, for pred in, uh, first i will begin with the betesian mimicry for predator the species a and species there are two uh, like i am taking two uh, species examples species a and species b okay the predator for the species a and species b is common okay the predator so what happens this species a is a mimic okay which means that it it, it my it, it is edible it is non toxic it is palatable and it is tasteful it is going to mimic the model species b which is non edible which is toxic which is unpalatable and tasteless so that predator will avoid this species because it will if the predator comes and um, uh, uh, try to catch up this species b it will get to, uh, it, it might already got to know that this is a toxic one that's why if this species acts like a species b then it, this predator will feels like this species is a toxic that's why next mullerian mimicry uh, in pre, uh, uh, predator the common predator uh, for the species a and species 2 i am taking here species 1 and uh, species 2 here what happens both the species are toxic harmful non edible unpalatable and tasteless okay so these two are mimicking with each other both are toxic here okay that is the difference between batesian mimicry and mullerian mimicry next as i told as i told in the beginning i will add some more mimicries so that you will get some information on the okay first one conscious mimicry or thanatosis here conscious mimicry or thanatosis means the prey acts like a dead body this is the key here the prey acts like a dead body it is also called as fanging death okay and for example for this are some beetles they will act like a dead body so for example you might have encountered this in your home uh, some beetles will come up uh, because of light or something else and you go and come and touch those okay they will suddenly act like they will stop the movement and they will suddenly act like they are dead okay that is actually a conscious mimicry or a thanatosis you might have familiar with this uh, mimicry okay uh, 
we'll start with the bluff here some animals put on display of intimidation to deceive potential predators about the ease with which prey can be eaten animals will uh, display intimidation intimidation means they will make other animals fearful Fear, uh, they will make the predator uh, fearful means they will try to show something which is not there in them in real okay that is actually called as deceive like uh, for example if you take a lizard okay lizard will show us that it has extra feel so that when predator will see that it it get fear about the prey example of a uh, toad it is going to swallow the air to make itself appear larger so that uh, what happens when the predator comes and sees that it, it is going looking uh, larger than the normal one so it thinks that okay it is a different animal so it will avoid that prey so the, uh, that is what bluff is for example sec next example a frog with inflated vocal sac okay so uh, it has a inflant inflated vocal sac the sac will be inflated so that uh, the predator will think that this is a different animal so that's how it will avoid it okay extended frills okay it will shows which is not real it is going to adapt some um, to uh, uh, escape from the eye of the predator uh, so what it will do it will try to uh, show um, uh, uh, some other uh, displays okay extra displays like uh, making himself a larger size and it is going to show the inflated vocal sac and the best example is frilled lizard okay the uh, clamidosaurus king is surprises the predator by extending frill around its neck to appear larger so some uh, lizards will be there no so these uh, lizard what they will do um, around the neck they will show some uh, frills like this so that the predator will uh, um, will get shocked or surprised that this is a different dangerous animal so uh, uh, that is actually called as bluff okay it will show the frill uh, frilled lizard okay these are all the some of the examples moving on to the next one chemical defense here uh, chemical defense means some of the uh, uh, preys what they will do they will uh, eject they will or spray uh, um, chemicals to the predators for example uh, bombay reader beetle this beetle will um, eject the hydroquinone or hydrogen peroxide that is h2o2 uh, at the predators so h2o2 is called as hydrogen peroxide okay so they will they will eject at the uh, uh, predators so that's how they will escape from the predator these will use as the chemical defense the next one is millipedes also have a chemical defense mechanism the next uh, one seventh one masking masking uh, let us uh, know what is masking here synchronous production of many progeny by all individuals in a population to satiate predate, uh, predators thereby allowing some progeny to survive here masking is a different kinds of mecha, uh, mechanism we can say so what happens here mm, uh, the species uh, are going to produce synchronous production means they will produce a more number of uh, prey uh, more number of generations okay more number of species sorry not generation more number of species at a time so that the sum of the species will be eaten by the predators and the rest ones will be survived that is called as massing example for this is example is seed herbivory in plants okay some will be eaten by the predators and some will be uh, grow, uh, the ones which are not eaten those will be grown up as a plant okay the next one accosting accosting means the sum of those species will uh, to uh, make uh, to make the predator uh, feel um, they are dangerous uh, so they will use the loud noise they will uh, use the loud noise uh, so uh, that's how they uh, they are doing the uh, mimicry here so they uh, they they will make a uh, more sound so that predator will uh, uh, get shocked uh, okay so these are the some of the other mimicries so uh, this is all about the betaian mimicry and mullerian mimicry i have shared the knowledge that i have now and i'm hoping this video will be helpful uh, if you learn something from this video please do share and subscribe thank you everyone